You're watching or listening to the Taylor's newsletter, The Obvious Choice, for Wednesday, the 14th of August. Sign up to get your copy directly to your inbox at taylorsagency slash newsletter. All links are in the show notes. You'll love your second brain. No sooner have I written to you about the same stories circulating around business book authors like a game of telephone than... This morning's cafe and biscuit read was Messy, How to Be Creative and Resilient in a Tidy-Minded World, which is the August book of the month in The Obvious Choice, recommended by a member. The author of Messy, Tim Harford, tells the story of a celebrated choreographer, Twyla Tharp. Tharp works across genres and has written three books. Indisputably, she's a woman of ideas with a lot going on. As such, she needs a system to make sure she never loses a valuable idea. I already knew this story because Tiago Forte tells it in his book, Building a Second Brain. As I wrote yesterday, read enough business books and you'll see the same business stories told again and again. And the same psychology studies too. Anyway, I've read the story twice and now I'm telling it to you for what might not be the first time for you either. Tharp's system is a different box for every project. Into each box goes whatever might be useful. Notes, videos, theatre programmes, books, cuttings, objects, anything. This wouldn't work for me. Aside from anything else, I live with an 11-year-old and an 8-year-old, so the last thing I need in my house is more boxes of crap. Last week, I couldn't find the toilet paper in the pantry because I hadn't seen it behind an overflowing box of fidgets. Arg, arg, arg. Back to the point. I can't use boxes, but I do need places to keep my ideas. You can't write a week daily newsletter and post frequently on LinkedIn and in a membership community without storing thoughts as they come into your head. My system is a database in Notion. I drop in ideas as I'm reading books. I take photographs of things that give me ideas. I write down snippets of conversation or thoughts that come to me. The database is a breadcrumb trail that I can follow when I need inspiration for an email or a post. Once I've written something, I also need to treat it as an asset, not disposable work. Who knows how I might want to use what I wrote in the future. They could be grouped into lead magnets. They could be used as email sequences for new subscribers. Definitely, I want to reuse emails that successfully promoted masterclasses, courses, or other products. As I typed this morning, there are 408 finished email newsletters in this database. There are 193 ideas for email newsletters. They are tagged by date and by what they promote. They're searchable. I have other databases for other topics like ideas for lead magnets and courses, as well as keeping tracks of the ones I've already made. There's a database of my ChatGPT prompts and there's another database for Taylor's deal pipeline. That database replaced Pipedrive for us. These databases are indeed what Tiago Forte would call my second brain. They make sure I don't forget there's a proposal out there. They make sure the content I create isn't disposable. It's an asset. And they make sure I'm never frustrated about that great idea I had but can't think of now. One of my great ideas, actually not mine, but suggested by another member of the obvious choice, is that I show people how to build these databases for themselves. When you know how, creating a database takes minutes and will save you days and days. And that's just one of a database's benefits. There's a masterclass every month in The Obvious Choice. And next month, that training is Notion for Marketing, Transforming Your Ideas and Content into Assets. I'm going to show you how to build databases for yourself. If that's a topic you'd be interested in, let me know at the link in the show notes. Stephen. You've been listening to or watching The Obvious Choice, the Taylorist newsletter. You can get your copy directly to your inbox from taylorist.agency newsletter. All links are in the show notes.